Lagos 2023, I was ashamed when I heard the hate speech. Some of my people were spewing. Jimmy Diesel, welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. I made the ongoing ethnic tension that is trailing the outcome of the gubernatorial and House of Assembly elections conducted in the Lagos metropolis over the weekend. Resident journalist and public affairs analyst Jimmy Diesel has come out to share his thoughts on the level of hate speech and tribal bigotry that was witnessed during and after the just concluded polls. Recall that during Saturday's governorship and the House of Assembly elections in Lagos, the country's social media space was awash with reports that voters of certain ethnic group residents in Lagos were profiled and targeted for violent attacks by political thugs who invaded hundreds of polling units scattered across the state. Apart from the physical attacks, the same ethnic group was also subjected to hate speech and tribal slurs online. Speaking on the unfortunate incident during an interview on Monday, in full FM dailies today on Monday morning, Diesel lamented the rate at which the nation's unity has been torn apart by people who are held bent on grabbing power and control for themselves. Going further, the veteran journalist disclosed that he was both ashamed and traumatized to hear the kind of bow and hate speech people he had known for years were spewing out during the elections. We have never had this type of mad ethnicity in the past elections as we have now. I was troubled, ashamed and traumatized to see people that I've known all my life spewing the kind of bow and hate speech that I never knew they had in them. It was mind-boggling. I saw somebody, a professor, tweeting, We have taught them a lesson on Twitter. I have seen people jubilating, posting things on Twitter, and I and doing all kinds of things, and I was forced to ask, what has happened to this country? Honestly, I don't know what has happened to my country, my friends, and even some members of my own family. All of a sudden, we want to make it impossible for us to have one country. It is sad. It shows that the times ahead of us are going to be very dark. And when I said this and they were like, you know, eh, who caused it and eh, who started it? And I was like, are you really serious? How do you and someone live in a house mm -hmm. and allow hatred to grow to that extent? How? Even if others are coming out to say, oh, about this person, oh, about this type of people, you that live with the person and you that know that this is not true. It's not actually true. You understand why are you coming out, you know, and you are sounding like all of them. I keep telling us there is no tribe, there is no religion that does not have the good, the bad, and the ugly. All those, all of them, they have. All the religions, all the regions have. So you coming out to say, oh, these people are these, these people are that to me. I'm like, you know, now, you know, he, he is, uh, what's it called? Who is clean should be the first to cast a stone. Who is without sin? We are all bleeding in this country. Yes, the north is bleeding, the south is bleeding, everybody is bleeding. If we continue blaming each other because of the uh, was of wound we have, we are not going to heal. We are going to continue saying, oh, now these people, oh, now these people. We have to get to a point where we understand that, yes, each and every one of us at one point in time, we offended one another and it is time for us to let go and heal. I listened to some of the comments, the venom that was coming out from people that I thought I knew as well. And I was like, oh boy, you know, it don't reach, it don't be. You understand? It don't be. They are, they are, what's it called? They coming out to justify what happened. Oh, next time if they want to take over, and I'm like, take over where? Why are you, why are you so insecure? Why? These people have not even said, what is it? You think they are buying and they're investing? The same thing they did, the same thing they do everywhere. Everywhere where these people go now, so they, it is not a matter of buying and doing all sorts of. And they are saying, oh, they gave you, they gave you land, they gave you, and you want to come and I'm like, they gave. Is it free? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't understand. Is it that, is it free? Do you clothe them? Do you feed them? What exactly is the problem here? I have said it before, except we do not want to stay together, remain together as a country. Then all these things should not come up. The minute it start coming up, that means we do not see these people. 
as one and so let them go. He don't reach now. Nah. He don't reach where he go say, you know, we know fit to stay with these people. Let them go then. But let them go. No. Treat them fine. No. I read somebody's comment on, you know, on, on, on a particular news platform. And I was like, whoa. What the person said. Let me just try to remember. I'm not quoting the person verbatim now. Eh? I didn't cram it. But the person said something like, the Southeasterners will never become the president of Nigeria. That after the Northerners, I mean, after the South, this, uh, what's it called? After the Southwesterners turn, that the South, uh, if you go back to the North, and after the North, make sure it goes to, uh, what's it called? A South Southerner. That even let them go to North. And I was like, excuse you, like, where did we get to this? I was, I was, I was really, really, I was sickened. I hear some things, I'm like, you know, no, 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 no. Sincerely, it's not right. Very dark indeed. We will shall rise with fury sooner than anticipated if the madness from your bus is not checked. Remember, we are no cowards and never afraid. Now, this is new to you. I understand you are pushed and frustrated. Most especially, like I said, there are people who, in the middle of all these election activities, hmm, they have been very neutral. You know, you go even know the candidates with the supports. Those people who are that calm, they were also they were also affected. I see videos of people who they had blood all over them. Their only crime was they came outside, you know, they went out to cast their vote, and they got there and they, you know, used something wound them. They had blood drip. I'm like, what is this? Ha! Huh. I still remember that the president selected Sunba said some time ago, he does not believe in one Nigeria. Since he has been forced down our throats, we are ready for the onslaught of Yoruba, tri Yoruba tribal treatment of the ethnic group. We are almost done with Buhari's nepotism and the government of the Fulani and for the Fulani. To remember knew he has bought iron neck. That was the reason he had no imputes on his campaign manifesto. He didn't even campaign at all, only going about to dance and insult people. I did not attend any, he did not attend any debate or media interview, but he won the presidential election. APC decided to rule us by fire and force. There is no democracy in Nigeria. And all the things that this person this is saying here is actually true. Sadly. Yoruba and Hawasas are your masters. Now listen to another one. You must continue to be our slaves either you like it or not. Now what will you call this kind of comment? Madness tribes and fools without common sense. What do you call this kind of... Is this not an incitement? This is wrong. And the thing is, people who are saying it is this kind of words, see these words, words, the words are very powerful. That's why I said we should be careful of even what we say. Be careful of the energy. I have met people who are really good people from places where we have heard super story of how these people were wicked. I've met very good people from these people, from these places. I've met very good people. So coming out, you don't, you don't judge. If you have had somebody who have offended you before. And most of these people, the thing is, they have not even gone, they never go anywhere. They're still there for their village. They have not exp they have not been exposed. They have not actually seen things from different angles. It is so sad. Okay, on those not your